let me just recall it. Okay. Uh, so just in a nutshell, as I mentioned, um, with the low GI for TLS is high glycemic food. And um, uh, you can just go back to take a look at the pancreas where GI is the ideal way to live a healthy lifestyle. Now, with regards to the uh, glycemic impact is uh, glycemic index plus glycemic loading, where you um, look at the different numbers. Um, if you actually have um, carrots on its own, obviously it's low to 49. But at the same time, if you are able to um, have other things uh, that are low GI, but if you have a lot of it, which is the uh, impact, then you'll be able to find out what's the difference. So let's say if you like eating, um, okay, chocolate, like chocolate bar. Um, it's not bad, it's 49, but if you have a cupcake that may be a lot more, say ice cream on the right hand side is 60. But if you share that, like, you know, so that's the loading. Does that make sense? So what that means is that it's not just about the number that is the glycemic index, but also the loading, which is about the actual number of uh, the content, uh, the um, quantity as well. So that's why, um, you know, when we talked about the glycemic um, index of the carrots might be more than the glycemic um, index for the uh, M&M, it's because M&M is very little. If you only have a few of that, then the loading is very little. However, if you eat carrots, it's um, very easy for us to be having more than what we need. So that's why glycemic load takes into the consideration of the quantity of the food ingested in a serving. So that's why most of us, when we eat, um, you know, uh, carrots, we won't have more than six or seven. So that's fine. You can have it. But if you have a lot more, then it's not ideal. Uh, so you have a look at the glycemic loading is index times the um, number that is the glycemic in index of the cups in a serving. So carrots, peeled, diced, and boiled will have a difference in there. Now, I would like you guys to actually um, familiarize yourself with this um, website, Glycemic Index, glycemicindex.com. If you have a look, uh, I will show you uh, later on uh, Glycemic Index. Can you see that? Uh, this is actually from the University of Sydney, where it actually shows you like the types of food and the glycemic index and the glycemic load, and ultimately tell you how good the food is. Okay. So yeah, get yourself familiar with that. And then um, the other part of it is um, some of the important tips in terms of eating low glycemic impact eating. So the first thing is don't overcook carbohydrates. So anything to do with like, like noodles, your uh, spaghetti or anything that needs to be cooked, just cook it really al dente, like very, um, don't overcook at all. Because if you overcook it, then it will break down the starch and making the digestion faster. And secondly, use whole grains rather than like other types of, um, uh, grains or like uh, whole meals because it will slow the digestion and then avoid finely milled products especially flowers don't have them because they are high in their uh, glycemic impact and then fiber is fantastic because soluble fiber absorbs water and it will make it thick and as a result it will slow down the digestion of starches and other things that can blunt the glycemic uh, effect include protein and fat. So that's why <coughs> our uh, TLS um, 21 day protein and fat are both important. Obviously, the kind of fat is uh, the good fat. 
Now, this is a very important um, graph that you all need to understand. Uh, you can actually find that in your um, back office. Uh, this is what we call an, uh, a low glycemic impact infographic. Now, how that works is that leading a low glycemic impact lifestyle doesn't have to be complicated. If you have a look at the green areas, one, two, three, six, seven, they are the blood sugar fat burning zone. So what we want is to be able to eat at a low glycemic to a point that it is, um, you know, blood um, uh, sugar is low and then it's fat burning zone. And when you actually eat high GI foods, then it will spike your blood sugar and causing you to leave that fat burning zone and it will go to four and five. Which is fat storage zone, and it will lead to a stepping of your energy. And so that's why, you know, you really do need to be aware, aware. of eating low and medium GI foods to keep you uh, in the, you know, fat burning zone when you are managing your weight. And then very important uh, to not uh, consume high GI food because that will, um, you know, cause you to have um, spiking of your blood sugar and hence fat storage. So that's why when we actually want to um, find your feet, you need to find out where you're at by doing that um, menu management profile. Okay, so how do we improve our metabolism? It's very important that we improve it. Why? Well, it's because um, when we improve our metabolism, uh, we'll be able to burn calories. Um, say, for example, you know, um, you can de-stress and you can actually uh, do exercise. What actually dictates metabolism is your muscle mass. So if you actually have more muscle and if you do more exercises, that definitely will help you to improve your metabolism. So have a look at the right-hand side. If you have five uh, pounds or kilos of fat versus five pounds or kilos of muscle, you can see the differences, right? So that's why it's very important for you to be focused on the muscle rather than the fat in your body. Um, so if you have a look at, on the left-hand side, two to three cardio workout for 40 minutes, and you'll be able to lose 50 grams of fat every two weeks. And so that's why, um, you know, within particularly the fat straining weeks, the, uh, this week and next week, you need to do at least 20, uh, 40 minutes uh, of two to three cardio workout. So schedule it. As I mentioned previously, what gets scheduled get done. We need to schedule uh, some cardio exercises, including things like, you know, brisk walk, jogging, running, uh, cardio and aerobic exercises like Zumba uh, or uh, ride your bike or swimming, stuff like that can actually help you burn um, your uh, body fat. And remember, don't skip meals. Um, it will keep you from storing fat because if you skip meal, then you're into a starvation mode and it will become, uh, you, when you skip meal, uh, fat storage mode will be happening. So you will need to keep your blood sugar level to maintain the muscle and um, also when you uh, wake up within half an hour, 30 minutes, um, you know, uh, have your breakfast. So in terms of exercises, there are three different types that we all need to engage in. Um, cardio, strength and flexibility exercises. So all three are important uh, in order to, um, you know, help you improve your metabolism. And if you go to the uh, au.tlslim.com website, you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, suggested exercises in all three that you'll be able to do as well. And also, as I mentioned last week, you can do Fitness Blender on YouTube as well. Obviously, if you go to the gym, that's even better. And there are other things that you're able to um, improve your metabolism, and that is using uh, different types of herbs. Uh, like, um, you know, um, cayenne pepper, you, you can actually raise your body temperature. Dark chocolate can help as well. Um, obviously, while you are doing your 21-day, uh, uh, you probably don't want sugar, then dark chocolate, wait till you have your menu plan. Ginger, sweet potato, and lean proteins are great to improve your metabolism as well. 
And green tea is fantastic because two cups of green tea a day, you can lose up to three uh, kilos in four weeks and burn 80 calories a day. So basically, these are the different things that we need to be aware of today in order for us to um, boost our metabolism, you know, uh, using low GI, using exercise, and also herbs and spices, as we mentioned, um, and how we can actually use them to help us uh, with our food intake of uh, protein and fiber in every meal um, that makes a weight management no big deal. Very important. Okay, so next I'm going to be sharing with you the fast trader recipes that most of you are in uh, as the second week of your 21 day. Okay, um, okay, let's have a look. So 21 day. <clears throat> Okay, 20 day challenge. So what you do, you go into your uh, au.tlslim.com and then go into TLS 21 day and you can see the second week, which is phase two. Okay, so most of you, uh, except, uh, you know, um, a few of you that are new and a few of you that have been doing this for a while uh, are on this plan. Now, if you do this... Right, Katie, I think you're still on the PowerPoint. Uh, can't see the menu plan. You can't. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just stop share. Okay. And then I will share the menu plan. Okay, guys, just give me a minute. Are you all aware where you can get the menu plan anyway? Uh, okay, here we go. Does anyone who doesn't know how to get your fast trader menu plan? Uh, it's it's a TLS one, is it? The TLS uh, fast Website. trader menu plan, which is part of the twenty one day. Yeah. Do you know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where where do you find it? It's yeah, I'm just logging in. at your au.tlslim.com. So um, once you get in there, you go yeah. into your 21 day challenge. Okay. And then you scroll down to phase two there. Yeah. Now, Aurora, you don't need to do that anymore because you're now already doing rapid results. You've done your 21 day previously, so don't worry about that. And yeah. until you do your next 21 day, then you come back here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but for the rest, um, so Aurora, just follow your rapid result plan continuously. Yeah. And, um, and with the phase two days, uh, eight to 21, which is uh, this week and next week for, uh, for the new people, uh, what you need then is to add two <coughs> nutrition shakes per day and the isotonics isochrome and eight to 12 servings per day of vegetables and your fruit is one serving only. As I mentioned previously, with your first week of detox, you can have up to three, two or three uh, serving of fruit, but this week only one serving. Okay, and then three to four serving of protein, two servings of fat, good fat, and water minimum eight cups, and five to six days per week. Again, so important for you all to schedule in <coughs> for exercise. Um, okay, maybe I'll have to uh, mute Simon coughing there. Okay, and then exclude your um, alcohol, grain, starches, and dairy. So no grains, no starches, no dairy, no alcohol for the next two weeks when you're on the 21-day kit, okay? So that is that. And then for those of you who are on menu plan already, um, then what you do is you, uh, you, you probably all have it already. Um, in your menu plan, go to your um, resources and then find your program downloads so say for example uh, with both Aurora and Heidi you're on rapid results so you can just get take, click there yeah TLS rapid results so that's basically it 
So any question, anyone? Everyone, let me just go back uh, to my uh, chat to see if you guys have any question. Katie? Yep? Um, just wondering, just now you mentioned about to increase the body metabolism, right? Uh, yes, what? There are, so, yeah. To increase the metabolism of the, of the body, you have to what increase the body temperature, raise the body temperature. What what does that mean? It means that you keep your body warm, is it? Uh, no, metabolism is basically uh, your muscle mask, muscle mask. So uh, muscle mask dictates metabolism. So basically, when you do exercise, you know when you sweat, mm. uh, you tend to then have a more muscle that's being built. So it's not like you have to keep your uh, body warm, but because as you are actually doing exercises, uh, the especially you know the muscle mass will be improved. Uh, you will have bought more um, body temperature. It's not something that you you know manufacture, but basically what you want to do when you you know need to improve your metabolism which all of us do need to whether we are needing to lose weight or whether we want to be healthy and mm. that is to do exercise so that's that's essence in essence what it is mm. yeah okay yes. all right so, because i say 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 what well, it can, what some, yeah. pe some kind of pepper and ginger and all this stuff yeah to yeah the body temperature yeah, that, that will help because um, they are the things that actually gives our body uh, improving, you know, our metabolism. It's, it's been proven that a, a lot of those things that are hot, in fact, like very um, spicy foods can help us with our metabolism, which is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Another question. Yep. Just so it says that you mentioned that you had to eat your breakfast within 30 minutes after you wake up. 